Hi art friends, it's Mrs. Linder from Keller Harville Elementary and today we're going to be making these family portraits. So in just a few minutes I'm going to walk you through how to draw a picture of yourself and your family members. But before we do that I want to show you some famous artists that have painted their families or of other families. It's important to remember that every family is a little bit different. Let's take a look together at how artists have painted and portrayed families. This is a family portrait of our country's first president, George Washington. This family is seen eating around the table. They even included their horse in the portrait. Maybe you have a pet that you want to include in yours. This family portrait is done by famous artist Diego Rivera. Last, I want to introduce you to folk artist William Henry Johnson. He's an American artist and drew lots of pictures of families in a folk style. That means that he used simple shapes and bright colors in his artwork. You can see here he did some smaller families and also some really big families. This is my example of a family portrait. I'm going to take a few minutes and walk you through how to do this. If you feel like you already know how to draw your family and you don't need the extra help, feel free to stop the video right here and go ahead and get started on what you want to do. So you're going to need a piece of paper and I'd like you to start with either a black crayon or an oil pastel. And then later we may try to use some paint, or if you don't have paint, you can use crayons or markers or whatever you have to sign. So to get started drawing our families, every family looks a little bit different. So just think about who is in your family. We're gonna start um, by drawing a face. We're gonna draw a whole body, so we wanna leave some room. I'm just gonna make a U shape to start out with face. And then, to do some hair. So in order to draw the hair, you gotta think about what does their hair look like? Okay. Um, my hair is long, so I'm gonna kind of bring it around my face like this. I'm gonna make it long, and I'm gonna draw it like a shape. So I'm gonna draw a little bit more on top. This is the top of my head. More strings of color like this. And then draw the bottom. Alright, now let's draw some eyes. So, when you need to draw eyes, eyes are round. Draw two circles, and then little circles in the middle. And now for our nose, I'm going to draw just a little. Upside down, seven. And now a smile. All right, next, I'm gonna draw a body. I just drew kind of like um, a rectangle, almost a triangle shape. I'm gonna draw a skirt. But you could draw pants, it doesn't matter. And I'm gonna draw some arms. Two lines coming out of each side. We want it to be symmetrical and on this side as it is on this side. I'm gonna draw some hands. And then some legs. I'm drawing two lines for each leg. With some feet. Now I can go back and add details in a little bit. Now we're going to draw another member of my family. So we're going to draw Dad. So he's a little bit taller. It's coming from up here. I'm going to draw the view with his face. I'm going to think about his hair. Hmm, he has shorter hair, so I'm going to draw it like this. And then it's kind of like a shape. I'm 
And since his hair is short, his ears show. I'm going to draw two little round shapes on either side to show his ears. Now the same as when we did my face. Two eyes. With the pupils in the middle. I'm going to draw his nose. His nose I'm going to make as a little shape like this. It's like a little rainbow line. And this one. All right, next we're going to draw his body. And his arms. Two lines and two lines that are about the same. So we want it to be symmetrical. And some hands. But you guys are doing a good job. Okay, next we are going to draw some legs. So we're going to make him, he's pretty tall. Make him all the way down here. Make the bottom of his pants. This feet. Going a straight line. Okay, so we have a mom and a dad, and now we're going to draw some kids. Alright guys, so here's our family, and your family might look different, might have more people, or might have less people, and that's okay because all our families are different. Um, you may even want to include your pets, if you have a dog or a cat or a fish, maybe you could add them into the drawing too. Now we're going to add some color, and there's a few different things you can use to do that. You can use crayons, you can use markers. You can use paint. That's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use some paints. All right, guys. So here's our family portrait that is filled in with color. I used watercolor paints to fill in my color. And what's nice is when you use crayon or oil pastel, you don't have to worry about the lines getting blurred with paint. It just goes right over the top of it. So now I want to think about my background because filling in my background is going to make it look really nice and finished. It's also going to give me a sense of where is my family. Um, so I'm going to take a few minutes and do my background and then we will take a look. Okay, friends, so we're done with our family portraits. I had so much fun creating these with you today, and I love how all of our families look a little bit different. Thanks so much for being here, and I look forward to creating with you next time.